everyone and welcome to our video on how to forward your newsletter out to your patients in Hotmail to the lists you've created otherwise known as categories. Log into Hotmail, navigate over to your inbox where your newsletter will be sitting waiting for you. Click on it to open it up and then what you want to do is come over here where it says reply to the far right, click that drop down box and choose forward off the list. And that will bring up the box that's going to allow us now to address it to our patients. So the uh, first thing you want to do is show the CC and BCC. We don't send out to patients using 2 or CC when there are multiple patients because that violates privacy. We'll click on the BCC button which will open up a box where we can then choose categories, put a check mark in the box, it'll populate into that BCC field and just close that box. The next thing you want to do is come down into the subject line and at least remove forward. Many of you will probably want to put your own clinic name in there, so we'll call that Health Walk Newsletter. Then you drop into the body of the email where you can delete the default forwarding message that pops up whenever you hit forward on any message. So we'll just delete that out. And in this place right here, you could customize it with some announcements. So hello, everyone. We have some great sales for the month of June. Whatever you want to say is perfect. In here, the other place that you can do some customizing, if you'll scroll down in the message, you'll find a section here called announcements. And this will have actual health tips in there. Things like raw broccoli, helps lower cholesterol, whatever, there'll be a number of health tips. But you can highlight this and you can replace it with your own announcement for the month like uh, raw food class on June 12th, RSVP required, something like that, and then put a phone number or email that they are going to reply to. You may just have a couple of announcements and want to keep a couple of health tips, that's fine. When you're done getting that done, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the email where we have to change the unsubscribe directions because right now this unsubscribe is for people subscribed to the Medicine Talk newsletter list and your patients, family, clients, friends are not. So let's just delete that information out of there and we'll go all the way to deleting out the Medicine Talk information as well and we'll just simply add in there to unsubscribe reply with remove in the subject, whatever you want to say, just so that you know if you get an email like this, they want to be removed and not be emailed the newsletter. So we've changed the unsubscribe information. We have updated the announcements with our own announcements right there. We have removed the default forwarding message and put our own greeting in there. We've changed the subject line and we've got it going to our group in the BCC field. Now we'll hit send. And often Hotmail will pop up a message here that says, please enter this code to make sure you're not spamming. Uh, you enter the code, you hit done, and then it'll say, okay, now you can return to your email and hit send and it'll be a, a window that opens up. You just have to close it to get back to your inbox. And I can't make it do it to demonstrate it to you because I've entered the code in enough times that now it knows I'm not spamming. So it's just if you see that, it's no big deal. It won't ask you very often. And if you have multiple lists and categories you've created because you had too many patients for one list, you just simply go back to your inbox and repeat that process with the next groups such as patients three or four, etc. Okay, thanks for joining us.